I was chosen out of 2,000 models for the 1980 autumn campaign for the Shiseido Cosmetics Company. It was the most exciting thing that happened to me and my career took off after that. I thought I would be satisfied because living as a model seemed to be such an exciting way to live. But the more I lived as a model, I found out that there were many difficulties as well. For one thing, you had to audition for most of your jobs, and I did get many of the auditions, but there were many others that I failed at. And it was very difficult not to take it as a personal rejection. Failing at auditions could really damage you. One pimple, one wrinkle, one blemish would become so traumatizing living as a model. And often, models would be worried whether they would have a job next month, a year from then, what would happen in the years to come as we grew older. I always had a difficulty about who I was. I was born to a Swiss father and a Japanese mother. My dad died when I was 11 years old. And so just living without an exact identity of which country I belonged to was difficult for me. I also went to an American school, so I had many American friends. And at times when the Olympics were in session, I'd have a hard time who to cheer for. Everyone was so excited about cheering for their team. And I felt kind of uh, divided um, as a person. I felt faithful to this one, and I wanted to cheer for another country as well, and I didn't know where I belonged. Third culture kid is what we are, and many people are confused about their own identity. But God tells us that He can make us a heavenly citizen through Christ. And it's wonderful to be a heavenly citizen because you're not rootless anymore. You have that root in the eternal kingdom of God. And God never gives up on us. He walks with us. He gives us the strength to be who we are. And it's not because we're more beautiful or more talented. He made us the way we are, and there is purpose. God healed my heart from being a person who was always wondering where I belong to someone who feels I belong anywhere God sends me. And when we find that identity in the Father, God, the creator of all universe, and we know that our life is not an accident. I was born with a purpose. God has an identity that I should be holding on to. My identity in Christ, it changes everything. I'm a mother of five children, and there are other challenges now, but I know who I am in Christ, not because of the country I live in, or because I have a job, or I don't have a job, or I have children or not. It's because my Father loves me, my Father in heaven. Instead of the Father, my earthly Father, who went on before me, He is waiting for me in heaven too. But my Heavenly Father is the one who gives me the power to live each day. And I want every single person to know this incredible identity of belonging to the Father who loves us. I'm Joanna Sullivan, and this is my story of home.